This video has been sponsored by Stella. Stella Data Recovery allows you to easily recover data from internal and external hard disk drives. It is as easy as pressing the scan button on the app, which will do a deep scan of the disk for any possible files that can be recovered, which can depend on the size and condition of your storage media. Once it's done, you can choose which files you want to recover at ease. If you would like more information about Stellar Data Recovery, a link will be provided in the description below. Now with this message complete, let's look at why Windows 10 has so many versions. Windows XP had a total of four different versions, the original release and free service packs. During the lifespan of Windows Vista, there were a total of three releases, including the RTM and two service packs. Windows 7 had only two versions, which were the RTM and Service Pack 1. Then we have Windows 10, which has a total of 14 versions, including the original release. This begs the question, why does Windows 10 have so many versions and what were the major differences with some of those builds? The main reason why there's so many feature versions of Windows 10 is because instead of Service Packs, Microsoft moved to a development model called Windows as a Service. This resulted in Windows having smaller and more constant feature updates which contrast the traditional method of releasing a major version of Windows every 3-4 to four years. In most cases, these feature updates would have a new build of the OS, and there were two feature updates per year until 2022, where it's now on an annual basis. Now we have that covered, let's dive into some of the major feature updates of Windows 10. Let's start with the original release of Windows 10, which is retroactively known as version 1507, due to its release in July 2015. This was obviously a big deal given it was the first version of Windows 10 and it introduced a new UI including a brand new start menu which isn't full screen compared to Windows 8. There was also the introduction of the iconic hero wallpaper, a redesigned login screen and the use of Microsoft Edge to name a few. The Action Center also had a complete makeover as well. There were however still plenty of inconsistencies that were fixed in later builds. Next up, we have the Windows 10 Anniversary Update, also known as version 1607. The start menu was slightly redesigned compared to the original release, as you can see. The Windows blue screen of Dev has also been upgraded to become slightly more brighter in colour, and a QR code is introduced at the bottom of the screen as well. Next, we have the Creators Update of Windows 10, also known as version 1703. One major change with this build is a complete redesign of the out-of-box experience with a significantly more user-friendly design and it's far more interactive thanks to the use of Cortana as well. In October 2018, another feature update was released, but this one had a notorious bug that resulted in the update being initially pulled for almost over a month. What happened was, the update automatically deleted every single file in the documents, music, pictures and video directories of a user's home folder. This situation was severe enough that it only took 4 days for Microsoft to pull the update from their servers, and a revised version was released to the general public on November 13 that year. The constant reminders for users to back up their data still rings true to this day, because of blunders like these. Nevertheless, the File Explorer had a new update, specifically the introduction of a dark theme, which makes it more consistent with the dark mode on Windows 10. The second last Windows 10 feature update I'll be covering is the May 2019 update, also known as version 1903. This build introduces a new light variant of the default hero Windows wallpaper, which replaces the original version. A new light mode theme has been introduced as well, which gives the option for the start menu and taskbar to be in a light colour instead of the usual dark. Of course, there was still a dark mode theme which has gotten more consistent as well. Last but not least, we have the Windows 10 version 2004 update. All updates after version 2004 were mainly focused on bug fixes and security updates, as Microsoft made the decision to concentrate on the Sun Valley project for future development, a project that would ultimately lead to what we know as Windows 11 today. So this was a video showing you why Windows 10 has so many versions and some of the major differences with these builds. Thank you all for watching.